Hey everybody, happy Wednesday! Before we get started, important stuff, this video is not sponsored or endorsed by Rodan and Fields. Everything that happens in the next however many minutes that comes out of this mouth and out of this head is just mine. It does not express the views or opinions of anybody else. Alright peeps, happy Wednesday, happy Wednesday! Charles is here, I'm so happy, he's not gonna come. Hey, Sam! I love it when Sam's come on. All right, Beth, Beth, it's fantastic. All right, friends, we are gonna have fun today. Oh, we're gonna have fun. I'm gonna look retarded, and y'all are gonna laugh, 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 because there is nothing better than Sam looking retarded, right? So first of all, I wanna say a big happy 10th birthday to my special little man, my firstborn, Samson Archibald Klein. My weenie dog, Claude, Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer times two. My, my precious little weenie, Samson, is 10 today, the big 1-0. It was a nice little nostalgic walk down memory lane when I was putting together his birthday collage. Love that boy. Love him. And you know what he's wanted for his birthday? He's just wanted to lay by his mama because he loves me so much. Sweet boy. Ryan! Ryan! I'm so glad you're here, Ryan. Oh, I love you, Samantha. You're so fantastic. All right, so I don't know if you guys saw. This week, I had a spiritual experience. I went and I had my nails done by, like, this rock star nail artist. Here's the deal. Everything about these nails are fantastic. They're long as hell. They're so long. They're so long. I don't, like, they're, look, they're so long. I don't even know, but there's, look, and it's even the right finger. There's a jeweled skull on my nails. Hello? Jeweled skull? But, like, you have, there's, I have to relearn life. Everything. God bless, Ryan. I am so happy to hear that. Maybe you finally went to the damn doctor and let them do what they're supposed to do. But I have to relearn how I do everything. And this is going to be funny because I'm going to look, really? So long nail people, I really hope you guys show up tonight and represent because I need tips, but not nail tips, obviously, but I need tips on how the hell. Okay. So the things that I've learned so far, and you're going to watch me, I'm going to look ridiculous as I'm doing my face because, wow, but Okay, lessons that Samantha has learned with long ass nails. Make sure that when you go to the bathroom, you wipe very slowly. I want you to think about that for a second. And the only reason I know this is because I learned that lesson. So I just want you to think about that. Charles Klein, your tummy is fine. It's because you ate crap. So that's the first thing. Second thing, you must also be extremely cautious when picking your nose. Now, I will tell you, I kind of like to pick my nose. There's something about it. I don't know. It's like a treasure hunt. I love it. But I got to be careful right now because you can't just, you can't just go up there. Like, like you have to, like, it really helps if I have a mirror because it's ridiculous. Oh, Beverly. Claude, I'm just telling you, if you get long nails, you need to know that. It's important. Okay, so I will also tell you that <laughs> as I was driving home, after I got my nails done, Q-tips, that's no fun. Q-tips. So I'm driving home, and all of a sudden I'm looking, and I can't stop looking. One, because they're beautiful, but two, because I'm like, holy hell, they're so long. What a... What have I done to myself? And I, you know, and they look great. I have big ass man hands. I needed, and he, Devin said, he was like, Samantha, you need long, you need to elongate your nails because of your hands. Otherwise they're going to look fat and stubby. And I'm like, no, you're absolutely right. And so, so we did it. We went, and then there's so many things going through my head right now, guys. There's so many, Claude, I've thought about that too. But when was the last time you wrote something down? It made me sad. When I thought that thought, because I'm like, well, shit, Samantha, when was the last time you wrote something forever ago? I can't tell you the last time I wrote something. 
technology, today's world, it is sad, is all I can say. But, so, I was like, what am I going to, I wear contacts. I am going to shish kebab my eyeballs, trying to take out my contacts. Now, I will tell you, it definitely took longer than normal. And there was one point where I was a little afraid. But, I got them out just fine, didn't rip anything, putting them in is way easier than taking them out. Like, even just now. Blah. Like, guys, I'll pinch my eyeballs out. I'll pinch them out. So that is going to be a work in progress. Doing that. Um, what was something else that I thought? I thought of so many things. I ate little chocolate donuts for breakfast this morning and I actually thought about stabbing it <laughs> with my pinky and just eating it like that. Like... If, for some reason, I get my food to go, and they forget to give me a fork, I can use my fingernails. There's a pro. That's a pro list. But I'm telling you, like, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, 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 here's the other thought. So this is the other thought that I had. So, of course, I mean, you want to get your time out of your nails, right? Especially if you've paid a lot of money for them. And I need to get some time out of these. Like, usually I'm four to five weeks. Easy. Not because they don't grow out, because I'm lazy. And he's a little further away. Not as far as the Tascacita. He's in Fairfield, Cypress area. So it takes me 40 minutes to get there. So I got to get make sure I get at least four weeks out of this. But do you know what happens in four weeks? They're going to get longer. That hit me today. They're, okay, Carolyn, I've thought about that too. I haven't worn any yet. Oh, no, I put my, I put earrings in yesterday. That was funny. I should really video some of this stuff, guys, because I seriously, I'm here and I'm trying to get these earrings into my ear, and I laughed at myself. Like, not just a, huh, Sam, it was more like a, you dumbass. And I just laughed. Like, it was hearty laughing. And so then it's putting, you're putting stuff on my face. Thank God I have my little spatulas because I don't know what I would. Don't be hateful, Charles. I'll stab you. I will shank you with my nails. Just saying. But guys, they're beautiful. Look, he did. Get out of here. Face, maybe it'll, no. So he marbled them and they're matte. These marble matte. These glossy and they glow in the dark. I'll show you in a second. They glow in the dark. But because it's those three fingers, I kind of look like some sort of a dinosaur with only three fingers. Like, it's, it's pretty cool. But, like, so I'm really concerned with how it's going to be in, like, two weeks. Because I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't, I don't know. Like, there is the thought in my head, like, I may have to go back just to have him, like, cut him. And reshape them to make it through another two weeks. It's, it's a journey, my friends. This is going to be an exciting journey with these nails. Like, even putting on eye cream. Putting on eye cream is ridiculous, guys. Because I poke my eye just a little bit. But I poke it repeatedly. Because you have to tap. And you have to tap with your third finger. And so... I mean, these are real world problems, guys, and I need to know. That's another reason I was really looking forward to getting on here with y'all tonight. I need to know what you long nail people do. What are the answers to the questions that I have now and the questions that I'm going to have? Because I just don't know. Just believe in yourself. <laughs> Man, Ryan, you crack me up. And you know what? You're right. You're absolutely right. I know. It's so funny, I mean, because like, I think of stuff, and even in my head, because I'm like, man, i got to talk to them tonight about long nails because I need tips. And then I was like, this, how retarded are you, Samantha, that this is a huge issue in your life today, that your nails are too long. But it is. 
It, a problem is a problem. Don't get me wrong. It's not like end of the world stuff yet. We, we kind of are talking life or death. If I get mad at somebody and for some reason I, I just go like that, I could cut their jugular. These are things that I'm concerned about, guys, because I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. Stacy! I don't know what's... I don't know. I just don't know, friends. I think... No, Charles doesn't count. There's boys that come on, Ryan, but they don't say anything. You're the only one that's, like, man enough to be like, that's right, I'm a dude and I'm here and I'm loving it. And you know how much we love having the boys represented. See, look, here's Phil. Phil's on here now. Another boy. And Phil's a kick-ass boy. But so th these are my issues, guys. Main issues, contacts. Wipe, wiping my butt. Picking my nose. And what am I going to do in two weeks when these are longer? I don't... Sam, I need help. Melanie, ah, uh, my heart is happy, happy. I'm so girl. I'm so glad you're here. All right, Charles, if you break these nails off, I will seriously break your face. These are an investment. They're beautiful, beautiful. I just got to figure it out. I just working the remote hard. Because of the nails. Luckily, I don't type on a computer anymore. This is this is my big dilemma right now, guys. This is a big dilemma. <laughs> uh, for those of you that are sitting there like, Sam, I shake my head. Shake it. I understand. I understand completely. Yeah, I'm back to um, the acne wash mask. Shark Week ended and it left. It, it left some casualties. So there you go. Don't grow them this long. They're so long. And look, my nail, it has a necklace. How beautiful is that? This, I will tell you, this guy was amazing. For anybody that's in H-Town, dude. So we sat, we were talking, we had to soak my other nails off. And so we sat and talked for like 10 minutes, you know, while they're soaking off. And, cause he's all about matching nails to personalities. So we're talking, and he gets it. He's like, I think I know what's going to work for you. And then, so he put it in. He got all of his stuff. And then, I don't know what we were talking about. We were just talking about him. Because he's, he's a pretty amazing guy as far as, I mean, he, artist. Absolute artist. artist. And uh, he was saying something about skulls. And I'm like, dude, I love skulls. And he looked at me. He's like, really? And I know, I don't look like the kind of chick that is into skulls. But I love skulls. Y'all know this. I love me some sexy skulls. And he was like, oh, hell no. And he put all of his stuff back. He's like, we're doing skulls. And I'm like, this is the best day of my life. Skulls. I was so excited. It's a big, fancy, blingy skull. Come on, y'all. It's craziness. It's craziness. But it was just so awesome. And I'm one of those, like, and I don't care what you're talking about or what you're doing. But if you're good at it and you have a passion for it, I am enthralled. So every time I've gone to, anytime I go and get my nails done, I always just, I'm so intent on watching them work because it amazes me. It just amazes me. I am flipping people off all night long is how it's going to be. Because I'm like, look at my skull. But really it's like, hey, not really, not really. But I mean, it was, it was so awesome. My friend Emily had told me about this guy, and then my sister knows him because my sister knows everybody related to the beauty industry because she's the bomb. And so, it was awesome. Glad I did it. Never looking back. I hope. It's just this length. This length is killing me. And there's people all over that have nails this long. I'm not the first, but it's scary. Wondering how you're going to get through the day. Martine! And then it's raining here in Houston. And it's not just raining, it's raining. So, Molly. Hey, Lynn. Molly's been freaking out all day long. 
because of the rain. So we've just been keeping her popped up on Xanax. Yeah, that's where we're at now with that dog. Benadryl don't do it. We gotta give her Xanax. And unfortunately, she can't have more than a full Xanax a day. So we have to just hope when we give her the two halves that it's at the right time. Charles watches the radar so that we know like an hour before we think it's gonna hit. I don't know if it's supposed to rain tonight. That means Charles is sleeping in the garage with Molly. Not that that's like really bad. Yeah, I bet it is, Lynn. Y'all got hit early before we did. Like our garage, Charles turned it into like a pimp ass man cave. Like there's recliners, big old ass TV and all that kind of crap. Heat, air conditioning, whatever. But that means that me and Samson get the whole bed to ourselves and we get excited about that. Very excited about that. I ate a pot pie for dinner and I ate it all and I don't think I should have. I am so full. Like I have a big old pot pie food baby rolling around. Yeah, Melanie. Yeah, that's exactly how Molly is. Exactly. No, so we have tried everything else. <laughs> For the most part, we've that we've done the thunder shirt, which does nothing. Like she is, when I say high anxiety, y'all, it is high anxiety. So she shakes like a paint mixer. She won't stop shaking, and she pants real fast like this. And you just wait for her to just pass out, or that her poor little puppy heart is gonna explode. And then she has to be up. She's either up on you, and she'll scratch at your face. Or she climbs up. We have these uh, these automatic recliners, you know, with a bzzz button in it. Puts you up and puts you down. Well, she gets up underneath it and climbs up into the arm and just stays there. Like, it's, it's so bad, y'all. It's so bad. And so Benadryl worked for a while, for a long while, actually. Like, and she just got progressively worse. It used to not be as bad as it is. It would be bad with thunderstorms and fireworks. Then it was rain. Then it was if the ground is wet. Then it was, like, you know how, like, if you, I don't know, like, you take a shower and you're using the hot water and your pipes make that noise? Like, then it's that. Like, you have no idea. It's insane. And now, because she's gotten so freaking neurotic, like, she does not, she doesn't stay in the house anymore. Because she's also a nervous peer. And we can't have that. Remember all the time she's peed on my head. Damn dog has peed on my head in the middle of the night. No. So now she only goes inside the house to eat her dinner. Everything else she stays in the garage. Because we can't, we can't, we can't have her in the house anymore. We just can't. I don't want a dog wrecking my stuff. Freak out crazy dog. No. Can't have none of that. And she likes the garage. It's her favorite place to be. Like, when it rains, that's where she wants to go. So she's happy. You know? You have no idea, Melanie. The craziness in the Klein house. It is craziness. But she likes the garage. That was not awesome, Charles. She, pe she peed on your head, too. Just the once. Like, she got me two or three times. But she peed on your head once. And that was like Christmas for me. It was about time that he got some of that. But, and the funny thing is, because I am the alpha dog in our house. They know. They won't, they won't wake mama up. They know better. Go wake up daddy. Daddy will take care of it. Mom gets mad when you wake her up in the middle of the night. So really, like, the only, I mean, she, yes, she did pee on your head, Charles. Ooh, German Shepherd. Those are big dogs. Molly's little. Thank God. I don't know what I would do if I had a German Shepherd that freaked out like that. Charles loves German Shepherds. He's wanted one. They just shed too much. Can't can't have that. Because I don't I don't clean. <laughs> so our house would be covered in dog hair. Like there's no way. Can't have it. Can't have none of that. Nope, nope, nope. I'm telling you guys, I just keep getting wider and wider and wider. That's the whole reason I wore a white shirt. Just 
there's something in the world whiter than me, and it is this shirt. Even in the mirror, like, there were like three times today when I looked in the mirror and I'm like, damn, you're white. Are they really? I did not know that they were needy dogs. That's very interesting to me. So, Melanie, I do um, the anti-aging mask from here up. And this is just when it's that time of the month. And I get a couple of, of blemishes. And then, and it's always hormonal. So, hormonal acne, for anyone that doesn't know, is your jawline. And so I get it there. And so I'll do the our acne face wash as a mask for two minutes. Because this is two minutes. And so I just leave it on for the same amount of time. And it works wonderfully. Like, it's, like if you have full-fledged acne, you're going to need the whole regimen. But for just, like, the little hormonal breakouts, one to two, maybe three pimples, yeah, it works perfectly. They're gone within 24 hours. Now, see, I love needy dogs. That is my loophole in codependent relationships. I have to have healthy relationships everywhere else, but my dog can be codependent. Like, Samson, you don't understand. Now that he's older, and now that I'm home a lot, he just wants to be in my lap all the time. Like, all the time. And what he'll do, like, if we're, if he's sitting with me and I get up to go to the bathroom, he'll go and sit with Charles. And then I'll come back and sit down, and he will move from Charles to me. Like, he can't be without a lap for five minutes. He can't. And, but I love it. I love my little weenie. I like it when he spoons me and he puts his little head right there. Love it. So to me, needy is like, I'm like, really? Ne you, needy, you say? I think I may need that dog. Because I, I kind of need a needy dog. That's the main reason I don't like cats. Cats are too independent. Cats don't need you for a damn thing. And I can't have that. I need to know that that animal needs me and it's my best friend. Cats are like, I could give a crap. And then they just walk. That's how Molly is too, though. Molly's like a cat. Oh, see, I got I love... No, don't get me wrong. There are times when it bo Samson bothers me. Because if he's not being held... Like, I'm washing dishes. And he'll be standing there at my feet. And I'm like, Samson. Because I can't stand whining. I hate whiners. I hate people that whine, children that whine, and animals that whine. Can't have none of it. No tolerance whatsoever. Now, I did have a cat that was like a dog, Melanie, and it was great. But that is, that never happens. That is a rarity. We call, Lynn, we call our dogs our posse. Like when one of us is out of town, it's, we got two little shadows. All, all the time, like, and then you turn around and you, you walk over one, like they trip you up. It's taken me forever to wash off this mask. Your baby is a baby, Samantha. A baby. I had my friend Stephanie, who was on, was it last week? The one that was, had her dog was pregnant. She had her puppies today. Three puppies. Three little Bichons. I need to go play with them. Cause I love puppies. I love them so much. Especially little fluffy puppies. I love me a fluffy puppy. <laughs> you do got a house full, Ashley. Cause I know Bella's just as bad as Samson is. I know. I haven't heard much about your new puppy. It's not a puppy anymore, I'm sure. Four months old. Oh, man. I bet she's big, though. Roxy's a good name for a German Shepherd, too. I like it. They're supposed to be... They're so smart. But I don't know if I could have a smart... Like, a super smart dog. Um, ask Charles. I don't... Charles doesn't tell me anything about anything anymore. I'm like, hey, what's going on, Ashley? He's like, she's fine. What? That's it? What's going on? You ain't talking to me anymore. Dude, Phil. For real, man. Look, they're so long. Look, they're, they're almost as long as my eye. 
rat po did you have to go to the vet ashley oh my god see now charles is like goose ate rat poison monday was two days ago charles oh my god ashley that sucks oh my god Charles is so funny with, with taking the dogs to the vet. Like, Samson had diarrhea, and Charles was like, he's had diarrhea for two days. I'm like, that's Samson. He gets diarrhea. He has sensitive tummy. Do you know? Charles, that is not true. I will beat you. So, one night last week, we got, um, we got barbecue. And Charles likes those big-ass baked potatoes loaded with like the barbecue meat on it and whatever so we got this huge freaking baked potato and left it on this little table well i walked out to go to the bathroom and i come back in and samson is looking guilty as sin and that's that's the one thing with samson he gets guilt immediately which is why i don't know why he does bad things y'all because he gets so guilty and I'm like, what did you just, like, I knew the second I walked into the room, I was like, what did you just do? And then I look and there's a styrofoam container on the floor. And whatever was left of the baked potato was gone. They ate the skin and everything. Samson was like eight times his normal size. And he's just waddling like that. Like, so uncomfortable. You could just tell. So uncomfortable. I'm like, dude, why did you eat it? You are going to be crapping for days. You're going to be miserable. And I get afraid because he's a little hes a little dog. Like, I can see his poor baby heart freaking exploding because he ate barbecue baked potato. He, man, he was sick. And I, Molly got some of it. I, I knew Samson was the culprit. Molly's the devil, but I knew Samson was the culprit. Like, I knew. That's, that's all Samson. He is such a scavenger. And we don't give him people food, but it's like he knows. And so he waits for that opportunity, and he is on it. Like, we can't even leave a coffee cup with coffee. He'll drink the coffee. He doesn't care what it is. And I hate beggars. Can't stand it. But so, but Charles, then Charles didn't want to take him to the vet. Your dog could die from eating freaking fatty meats and a baked potato. But he, he was crapping for days, and they were throwing up. And Charles was like, oh, no. I'm like, no, no, no. I hope they feel miserable. And so they'd throw up or they'd have diarrhea. I'm like, how do you like that? That's what you get. Don't eat the people food, dogs. You know better. Oh. It, it has been rough in the Klein house. With dogs. Between storms and baked potatoes. And then I am just keep thinking, Samson's about to be 10. He's already a little overweight. With back problems. I don't want him to die today. But it's also one of those things where it's like. We shouldn't have. We should have known better. Right? Like we should have thrown it away. We should have put it up where he couldn't get at it. Like part of it is on us. But the other part is like. Samson you know better. Your little butt's going to be on fire. And what that means for me. Is getting up every two hours. All night long, because Samson's got to go to the bathroom. <sighs> I'm telling you guys. And let me just, disclaimer, these are high-class problems. These are high-class problems, friends. I'm aware of that. And I'm blessed that these are the only problems I have right now to complain about. Let's just take a moment for that. High-class problems. But I'm just saying, it was, it's been crazy. Crazy. See, I just can't stop talking about it. I think nothing's happened, and then I'm like, sings out of Sam. And you can't shut me up. <laughs> uh, this is how my head is all the time, y'all. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop at all. I need to talk to you, Melanie. I mean, I love that you're here, but I'd like to hear your voice. We need to talk. These dogs, y'all, I can't. It, for anybody that's like, she's over the top. Puffies aren't like kids. Yes, they are. The, tell me you have not gotten this mad at your children. 
It's the same, guys. Except my situation is better. Because I can put my dogs in crates. <laughs> they don't go to college. They don't tell me they hate me. Oh, grapes are bad, aren't they, for dogs? Dude, Philip, I, I'm telling you, I have poked my eye like three times this morning, more than three probably, putting on eye cream. Just wait, guys, just wait. We're, it, we're getting to the good stuff. I don't even know if I need a roller anymore. I just stab my face. <laughs> I just stab my face repeatedly with my nails. <laughs> I know, Ashley, they always love you no matter what. I could kick Molly across the room and she'd still get excited about it. Mama spent time with me. She kicked me. It's just, they're so much better. I did put Peter in a crate once when he was little, but it was for fun. It wasn't because he was bad. Like, he liked it. He thought it was hilarious. Yeah, I forget what it is about the grapes that are, if it's is it the skin, I can't remember, but the grapes are pretty bad. You're lucky you didn't have to go and pay 440 bucks to get their stomach pumped. Lord have mercy. Did you have poop and vomit, Ashley, with the rat poison? I hope not. I think that's worse than, oh man, talk about poop. So yesterday we went, me and Charles had some running around to do. And when we leave the house for like, oh, good night, Phil. Thanks for joining. Um, so we had to go run some errands. And when we leave the house for an extended period of time, we put the dogs in their crates that are inside the house. I roll every day, at night, every night. Except when I'm being lazy, but mainly every night. Um, and so we get home and Charles was going to let the dogs out to go potty while I got their dinner ready. And all of a sudden I hear him yelling. Molly is covered in poop. It is all over her face. It is all over her chest and her front legs and paws. Like she did a major number two and it's like she rolled in it it's like she put it on like it was a face mask and it smelled so bad it smelled so bad and so then oh samantha i'll get back to the poop story this is our micro exfoliating roller it is the best tool on the skincare market what this does is itty bitty baby needles it feels like um, a cat licking you and one thing that it does that makes it great is that it accelerates your regimen results by 50%. And that is a proven clinical study guarantee. Using this in conjunction with a regimen will accelerate your results by 50%. Why, you ask? I'll tell you. Because these little baby needles create teeny tiny micro channels in your skin. And it allows your products to penetrate deeper so that you're treating deeper so the skin that's as you're exfoliating the skin that comes out is beautiful bright radiant gorgeous the second thing it does which is my favorite is it pricks your skin enough to think that it's been injured now what does your body do when it thinks it's been injured i'll tell you it produces collagen so this is a great way to get natural collagen production back because 20s, it starts to decline. 40s, it's almost gone. 50, it's done. So it will roll away your wrinkles and fine lines. It will prevent and reverse sagging skin. And it firms and tones your face. And you look amazing like this. Yeah. So for anybody that's getting the, the droopy jowls or has the turkey neck, not only can we prevent those things from happening, all you younger people, we can reverse it. Yeah. Go check out my, my photo albums. Check out my Redefine, there you go, photo albums um, on my Facebook page. Yes, Melanie, this actually is a fantastic tool for acne scarring. So not like the dark marks, although we have stuff for that, um, for the pits. For those people that have, have suffered with cystic acne and you get that pitting in your skin, this will actually plump it all back up and you will never know that you had acne. Yeah, and I, I mean that. That's a guarantee. 
use it continuously over time, yeah, it'll get rid of all of that scarring. It's amazing. Truly the best tool on the skincare market. There is nothing better. Nothing. Hi, Georgie. I'm oh, sorry, I'm reading people. Can you overroll? So we're only supposed to roll at the most once a day because this is also exfoliation. It will, if like, let's say you roll twice a day or three times a day every day. Yeah, you're going to, you're going to totally over exfoliate and you will definitely injure your skin. So at the most once a night and at the least two to three times a week. Because there's some people that just, their, it, their skin is just too sensitive. So they will do it every other night, every third night, something along those lines. But you want to do it at least two to three times a week. Pitting, that's right. Yeah, I do have some really good before and afters with, um, with this result. What have I done? I don't know what I'm doing anymore, y'all. I just did the forehead. This, 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 this. God. The one time I'm quiet is when I roll my lips. And yes, I roll my lips. It helps plump them. And it gets rid of the straw lines that happen as you age. You can roll everywhere. And Lynn, I saw you said the neck and the chest. Absolutely. I haven't gotten there yet. And I roll my nose. Because your nose can get saggy, right? Amen, Melanie. Charles, stop bitching about your stomach. Charles eats this filth. I, he showed it on one Sing Side episode before. He calls it skinheads on a raft. It's what they eat in Ireland, and it is filthy. And it's toast with, like, American cheese singles and freaking pork and beans. It, ugh. And it's, na it's nasty. Ugh. I can smell it as I talk about it. It's so bad, y'all. It's so, it's so bad. It is the nastiest thing I've ever seen, ever in my life. And he loves it. And that's what he had for dinner tonight, because that's what he wanted. When you eat filth, it's going to tear up your stomach. Don't bitch about it. That's grossness. Those are things that should never go together. You have no idea, Lynn. It is filthy. Filthy. Like, uh, just smelling it makes me want to vomit. Just thinking about the smell makes me want to vomit. It's not good. And then we roll a chest. Roll that chest. So we don't have cougar chest. Ugh. Yeah, because it wipes out their freaking digestive tract. I need to make sure I remember to sanitize tonight. I'll get it all out. Sanitize afterwards. Sanitize afterwards. <sighs> so see, now we're getting to more of the fingery stuff. It's going to be funny, y'all. Corn mayo sandwiches. That's filthy, Claude. That is, ugh. That is just as bad as Charles's beans on toast. That is just as bad, easily. That's, oh, it's so filthy. That's so filthy. Mm -hmm. And so, see, I gotta be careful, like, even getting my stuff because it's all going to go underneath my nails. I'll have the youngest looking undernail ever on the face of the planet. Uh, uh, uh. Ugh. Ugh. I'm still thinking about that nasty sandwich, Claude. It's so filthy. If I ever went overseas, I would lose so much weight. <laughs> Because I would not hardly eat anything. Anything. Because I'd be like, that's disgusting. Do you have any M&Ms? I would like an M&M, please. That was like when Charles went to China. He brought a whole bunch of, like, protein bars and, like, that's all he ate. 
He was not impressed with the Chinese food. Hydration, y'all. Hydration is so important. Getting cold again. It's been in the freaking high, mid to high 70s. And then we get this cold front coming in and it's all cold again. Houstonians are just going to start dropping dead. The flu will never be gone. I did see a mosquito hawk today. And if you, where there are mosquito hawks, there are mosquitoes. I have not seen any yet. But if there's mosquito hawks out, there's got to be mosquitoes. Uh, butter. Butter and bread. Yeah. They are big bread people. I like bread. I'm getting hot. It's because I'm talking and moving. That and I'm kind of already thinking about having to take out my contacts. I'm getting a little scared. Do you know how hard it is to pick stuff up? I tried to put on my lip serum. Last night, and I'm like, I'm going to have to put it on my finger and rub it on my lips, I think. And I hate doing that because I feel like I take product away from my lips because it's on my finger. I, I'm so neurotic about that stuff. I'm just kind of weird, I guess. <laughs> but I can't believe I just said that. I'm kind of weird, I guess. Y'all, I'm definitely weird. We know this. There's no you know, guessing involved. All right. What else? Oh. I was trying to take my pills. Carrie! What up, woman? Oh, hey, where, where are you? Where'd you come from? I got debris underneath, and I didn't even know they were there. What was I saying? I don't know. Oh, I was trying to take my morning pills. And you know how hard it is to pick, to pick them up even out of my hand? Y'all. Oh, we are loving that grandbaby. We need... We need to go see her. So they're coming down for spring break in April. And I'm thinking, Charles, if this is still the plan, that I'm going to go up there next month and spend a few days. And then Charles will go up. Because we can't leave the dogs. Because Samson's back and Molly's crazy. So, um... Plus, that way we get to have... We don't have to share the baby. Because Nikki's going to just hand it over, right? She's going to be like, thank God. I'm tired. I'm going to go take a nap for three days. And then they'll come here in April. Which is very exciting. But she just gets cuter every damn day. Nikki sends us all these pictures and that baby is precious. She's so cute. She has that big, fat, precious baby face that you love. I love me some fat babies. And Charles, yes, I did see your comment. Next week, next Wednesday is the Sam Jam. That's right, Sam Jam. Last Wednesday of every month now. I told Charles that we could start putting together the playlist so we can rock out next week. I was kind of excited because I thought tonight was the last Wednesday and I was so ready. I'm really looking forward to the Sam Jam, y'all. We had so much fun the last time. I have no doubt we will have fun again. Another thing that I'm afraid about with these nails is when I go to sleep, I'm scared I'm going to stab Charles in my sleep. That's a possibility. He needs to wear, like, armor. So, Samantha, I use, um, my regular mask that I use is our anti-aging mask, and it's absolutely amazing. Um, and I use that twice a day. But, whenever I get hormonal breakouts, I will only use the anti-aging mask for my cheekbones up. And then the acne wash is a wash. It's not a mask, but you can leave it and let it sit and what it, it's sulfur based and um, what sulfur does is it's like Drado for your skin so it goes in and it pulls out all the impurities in that area and so like where I would get a hormonal breakout and it may last three or four days because I mess with it. it it's gone within 24 hours 
with this stuff. For me, at least. It, I mean, it goes away really, really quickly. Um, we have the number one acne product in North America. We have the best acne product. There's no acne product that you can buy here in the States or really anywhere else. We're just not global yet. That is better than this. It's amazing. It's amazing. What have I done? I didn't do my nose. Um, I can't feel anything. I can't feel it touch my skin. It's not good. Uh, sulfur. It's sulfur. Not sulfa. So you should be good. But I will double check the ingredient list just because. And I'll let you know. But yeah, it's sulfur. It's just in the wash. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I, I got serum underneath my nail. I knew that was going to happen. See? Issues. I thought I was being a... Charles, you're funny. I'll have to sh turn off the, the light so you guys can see my glow in the dark nails. Alright. I don't know what I'm going to do at four weeks, y'all. I'm telling you right now. It's already such an issue. I'm going to have to put it on my finger. Oh. I'm going to be going crazy. Y'all will watch me like descend into madness every week with these nails. We should take bets on how long it takes for me to just go. Rah! I would say not long. All right. Night cream. Hot. I'm getting hot, y'all. <sighs> Thank God for spatulas. So the benefits of the roller are 50% accelerated results with a regimen, collagen production, which means no, gets, it will get rid of wrinkles and fine lines and sagging skin, and in the case of acne pit scars, it will get rid of that as well. And the roller's fantastic. Okay, so you think a week from today? Claude, I'm gonna give myself two weeks, but I don't know. It could be a week. It could be. Charles did not want to come on tonight. He was like, I can't, I can't do it tonight. Like, it was just too much for him. After his day of working, solving the world's problems, harassing people on the internet. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. One week. You're probably more right than you think. Yeah, I was digesting beans. Ugh. That's a gift that just keeps on giving. Hope it's raining tonight. Then he won't be in the bedroom. He'll be with Molly in the garage. And it will not disturb me. Or Samson. Samson hates it when people fart. He hates it. it makes him so mad. Uh-uh-uh. Oh, and guess what, y'all? I have one, two, three new mascaras that just came in. So there will be some mascara reviews on the horizon. I'm very excited. Of course, Charles, it's other people's fault. It's not yours. Mm -mm -mm. I'm also afraid I'm going to stab myself in the jugular. My sister has long nails. I need to ask her how she does it. Okay, I got too much night cream. Come off. I'm not wasting any of you. 
And a little bit here. We'll just wipe it. We'll wipe it somewhere. All right. All right. There we go. There we go. Febreze. I need like a nuclear good scent bomb. Is what I would need. I'm sure I will. I will. But it's just. It's a lot. It's a lot right now. It's a lot. I like to be able to use my hands for things. And right now I feel like I can't. But I mean they're real sturdy. I'm not worried about popping off or anything. And he put like incredible resin and stuff on my on the jewels so that I'm not worried about them coming off. But it's just all right. All right, guys, are you ready? The, the eye cream is coming up. Good time to be had by all. Charles. Charles is a little internet troll. Gotta get the lash serum. Got to. Because these lashes are off the hook. Look at these guys. I told you I just had a growth spurt again and it was like double lashes in like a day. Oh man, no, Carrie, we haven't watched it yet. We need to do that tonight. I told Charles the night that you sent it and he was like, we'll watch it tomorrow. And then we're so ADD. We need to watch that. We need to watch that tonight. For real. Look at these. Beautiful lashes, y'all. They're beautiful. All right, here we go. It's not fun, the eye cream. The eye cream gives me anxiety now. And eye cream should never give you anxiety. Eye cream's a beautiful thing. All right. So, I figured out after doing eye cream twice already. Charles, whatever, man. You're spreading lies. Lies. So I have to do it a little bit lower on my finger. Oh, what? It's going to be so. And so then I have to like, my wingspan gets really big because I have to make sure that I don't get my the corner of my nail too close to my eyeball because they're really sharp like edges are very important to him and they're beautiful sharp edges but that does not come in handy when it's time for eye cream it is dangerous so that's right there is the first time i did the my under eye and i didn't i didn't poke my eye progress progress guys the top isn't so bad uh -uh -uh. It's just the under eye where I get scared. All right. Next eye. And I don't know how it's going to be when it comes time for me to put on mascara. I'm worried about that too, y'all. Oh, see, this is not... I can tell you already, this is not going to be good. I got to rotate. But then, like, I start getting fast, and I'm like, the second you get fast, you're going to stab yourself in the eye, and it's going to be really bad, because you're going so fast. I didn't, I didn't poke my eye. I didn't poke it. Maybe, maybe I can do this thing after all. I believe in myself now. If I did it once, I can, or if I did not do it once, I cannot do it again. That's it. Eye cream done, and I didn't touch my eyeball. I feel, I feel good. I feel better already. I think it's because y'all were here. I think you guys just give me that little extra. And I can do anything. I can put on eye cream with talons. I did it. I'm so excited. I'm so proud of myself. All right, friends. So that's it. That's my face. I still have hand cream. And, night, and lip serum, but I'm going to do those right before bed. 
I know, Claude, the wingspan is huge. Cause I gotta make sure that I got enough room to be all like that. It's ridiculous. I can't wait to see that screenshot. Oh, I'll turn off the lights. Hold on. All right. They glow. So just wait a second. Oh, there's still a light. Here. Ta-da! You can't see it that well. But they're glowing. See, there we go. See the glow? Glow. They glow. It's fun. Glowing is fun. So the only shapes... Sam that he was talking about that would be good for like my 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 hand shape is this coffin shaped or almond where it's just so I guess a little skinnier at the top and rounded I don't know I like the coffin because I like square I like a little bit of edge and I think they might work I'm just worried about the long run like they may work today but will they work two weeks from now Claude thinks no all right. I know it would be, Claude. It would be a lot of fun. So much fun. Um, all right. So one thing, y'all. So right now, through the end of the month, all of you people that are like, all right, I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to get my skin on point. I have huge ass deal for you. So for the rest of this month, the next week, any new preferred customer that orders a regimen or a regimen bundle gets a free exfoliating paste. And let me tell you about this paste. For one, look at how big it is. It's huge. This is approximately an $80 value and it will last you for months, four, six, eight months, depending on how often you use it and where you use it. Um, this stuff, is better than going to your med spa and getting a microderm treatment. Yes, I've had estheticians tell me that. So it's for real. And it's amazing. Not only can you use it on your face, you can use it anywhere on your body. So it's great for any rough areas, calluses on your hands, your feet, better than any pedicure. So you're getting that right now for free. For free. We're just giving it to you because we love you. And we're like, hey, congratulations on taking a step towards a better skin. We're ready to do this. And we're so excited. Here's some free exfoliation paste. 80 buck value. Yours for free. And it's amazing. So people, you need to talk to me before the end of February. Because that's huge. That's a huge freaking incentive. Huge. And it's amazing. I love that stuff. I use it on my fit. Tomorrow is microderm Thursday. I will use it Mondays and Thursdays, twice a week. I know, right, Sam? It, it's amazing. And you're crazy if you don't get your regimen right now because, like, for real, y'all, it's a big deal. I love you guys. Um, I think I may be going live tomorrow. I'm doing something special tomorrow. I think I'm going to go live with it. I think so. It'll be interesting. Um... I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. You made it halfway through. Two days left. You can do it. I know. And Monday was a day off, right? So really it's like Tuesday for some of you people. Because Monday's was like, Santa? We could turn that trash around. <laughs> we can make it beautiful. All you got to do is say, I'm ready to order. And I'll hook you up. So peeps, take care of yourselves. Get some rest tonight. Tackle the day tomorrow. You're going to have a great rest of the week. You're going to be amazing. You're going to have a great weekend. And y'all, before you go to bed tonight, wash that face. Because if you're, if you're watching Sing Side with Sam, every night we need to be good to our skin. Good night, my friends. Sweet dreams. I'll talk to you later.